Hi guys! <laughs> um, Alright, so I showed you in one video that um, a company called Toku uh, from Japan sent us uh, one of their products and this is it. So it's actually uh, Horano Soba um, that's made from Hokkaido and I'm gonna try and make it um, today. I only have one burner um, and I will just show you what I do throughout the process and hopefully um, I'll be able to achieve how it tastes like when you go to Japan. I am so excited. Obviously we all miss traveling and the next best thing is really the food from wherever it is. So I love Japan and this is the next best thing that I can get at this moment. That's the package. Well, let me open it for you. Um, so this one has basically two sets, so two servings of soba. And the soup. So it actually has instructions. However, it's in Nihongo. Uh, there's also some uh, information at the back and on the side. So what I've done is just download Google Translate and use the image so that I can kind of have a good idea of how I'm supposed to do this. Um, and then I actually did some research on Google as well. Uh, and kind of just try and mix and match and see how this goes. Okay. I will see you in a bit. Alright, to kind of make it my own, uh, and by the way guys, I'm not an, a chef in any way, so I just kind of tried to put this together. Um, we'll add some bits to the uh, ramen so we can, or soba, so we can make it more kind of a full meal. Um, first, we will cook some eggs, about 6 minutes, um, chop some spring onions. Um, and use some seaweeds um, as our part of our garnish and then fry some gyoza on the side so let's see let's start all right so we'll chop off the spring onions first I've already watched them uh, earlier. Um, I try not to use this part, that's really the first the part. Uh, I actually like the flavor of this uh, with your ramen. So even with, you know, in the local ramen shops here, um, I try and put a lot of these. and let's not waste any so we'll try and use as many as we can okay I think that's about it next is we will boil two eggs um, for exactly six minutes and drop it on uh, ice cold water so that it stops uh, cooking See you later. Six minutes are done. Where is that? Alright. To the ice. Next, we will cook the gyoza. So I've taken it out of the box. So we have the noodles here, and then um, either a dipping sauce or soup. So we're waiting for the water to boil. We will put the noodles for four to five minutes, and then put them under uh, 
those waters so that you remove the starch and stop the cooking. So after 4 to 5 minutes, we will take the noodles out. Alright, so preparation time guys. So we have the soba that we just cooked for 4 to 5 minutes. And then we have the soup packet. So either you add 1 cup of water or more if you like. Japanese style soft boiled egg some seaweeds on the side the spring onions Guys, that's how the ramen looks like. Oh my gosh! Who thought you can make that? What can you say about our homemade ramen? It's so good. <laughs> so all right, so it's just about five minutes past after um, we ate, and it's all gone. That was so good. I, like I said earlier, you know, if you can't go to Japan right now or anywhere else, just get some authentic food from that country. And this was really good. The noodles kept um, its firmness. I only cooked it for about uh, four minutes and drenched it in cold water so that it stopped cooking. The sauce was really good i think we added way too much water so but it's uh, even if i'm as it is it's still great so overall thumbs up um so if you really want to try this uh, go to toku mall i will add uh, the website in the description box so that's it guys um if you enjoyed this video please do not forget to like and subscribe um, there will be more videos coming up I will continue eating thank you very much again if you want to check out uh, Tokumol for um, authentic Japanese products food and anything else I will put it in the description box and thank you thank you for watching